just wish he knew. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new LEGO military video, today with the UH-1i Venom from United States of America. This is the second version of my UH-1 uh, Venom. The first one you can find it here if you are curious to see uh, the improvements compared to the older uh, version. And not only here, I was able to add many more features, but it's more similar to the real one. So the overall dimensions are more precise. If you know the real machine, you are probably aware about similarities between the UH-1 Venom and the AH-1 Viper, the attack helicopter for the Marine Corps. They share similarities, I was able to move them here as well. Now I'll show you uh, everything better, but as usual, before starting the reminders, down below here you can find the links to download the instructions for it, uh, cheaper parts if you don't want to use, you know, original Lego bricks, or uh, maybe you want to just get the most expensive parts because of the color, so you can also mix them, they are compatible, and even the link for the full set if available. If you find bright green parts like here or maybe I can show you here inside the structure, these are not visible so you can change them with any other color you find at a cheaper price. What we have here is the helicopter itself and the main feature are the similarities with the attack helicopter. Now first I would like to show you here a real image about the two helicopters I'm talking about. I already built the AH-1 that you can find it here in the right top corner or caption the video, the playlist with all my other projects, so you can check them. And what we can notice from this image, the similarities I was talking about. Check the tail, for example, here, uh, this part of the tail, see, and this part of the tail, are they a little similar for you? Or maybe here, check the engines here, engines here or maybe this section here, the top section, top section, they are kind of similar. There is a reason, they were updated by the same company in the same period and to save money, they adopted the similar parts. This way the maintenance is easier and cheaper. And of course we have them also in the Lego version. So if we check everything, boom, like this, and we compare them together. Here we have other things I'll show you later. Don't, don't worry for now. They, they are not important in this moment. Uh, I'll show you everything. But if we check them together, of course, you can notice how we have the same uh, top rotor, uh, exhaust, engines, tail. They share the same features. So I hope you like this. The standard Huey here, it's present just to show you that now the new version is based on the previous one as well, just like the real helicopter was improved starting from the original Huey. Now let me show you what you will get with the file the helicopter of course we have the helicopter in minifigure scale so here we have the space for the minifigure and you get also these weapons now the parts list for the weapons is separated and you can find the parts for one of each weapon it means if you want more weapons of the same kind you have to multiply the parts for the number of them you want uh, why this because maybe you don't want all of them you can choose what uh, weapons you want to use, maybe you don't want weapons on it, that's up to you. Let's start with the basic helicopter first. Here you can see it uh, closed you know, on this side, to make it easier I'll show you separated the both sides. So on this side is, uh, is closed, pretty, pretty nice, while on the other side is fully open. Of course you can decide to open only half of it, so you can close uh, this section this way, see? or you can fully close here this one. You can uh, slide this one up until uh, the end, but we have a gap. You have to close the gap this way. This one is easily 
disconnectable. I left some space for your fingers. So even if you have uh, big fingers here, there is a little bit of space and is, there is a space also here on the bottom. So you can easily pop it out because connected only here. So this one can be popped out and then you can slide open this one as much as you want. From here, you can notice we have some instruments for the pilots. They are in bright green because yes, they are visible, but you can choose the one you prefer most. Uh, we have the space for two pilots. Of course, this is in minifigure scale. You may fit inside two of them. And of course, you have space also for minifigures inside here. What we have to check are, okay, we have many other little details, like for example, also here the front sensor is the same one present on the AH-1 uh, Viper that can uh, rotate and move. As you may notice, is the same design. We have many other little uh, details that, I don't know if you did notice, for example, here, here on the front, on the side, there are really a lot of details. I tried to add as many of them as possible. Here, one another interesting thing that maybe it was not so clear with the images you have already seen before. The rotor can, of course, rotate because it's a rotor, but not only that, it can also slightly change the inclination in any direction. There is a ball joint, so it can go in any direction as you wish. One last thing before checking the weapons. Here there is an universal stand I designed for all my aircraft that of course you can decide to use for this helicopter as well. While for the aircraft I like this kind of inclination that goes this, this way. Uh, let's place it here. Uh, we don't have the minifigure, I don't know why, it's not important. So you can place it, I don't know, incline it this way, or if you uh, rotate it in the opposite direction, you can incline it this direction, and I think it looks much nicer with the helicopter. But again, that's up to you. If you don't like this stand, you can uh, use another one. It's free, there are free instructions for it on my channel, so you can choose to use it or not. And now we can finally check the weapons. If you want two of them, for example, let's say we want to use here the machine guns for the, for the crew. We have a standard machine gun or a Gatling gun. You can choose the one you like most. Let's say you want the Gatling gun and you want one for each side of the helicopter. You have to multiply the parts by two. How we connect it? You have, well, uh, the easiest way is to remove the door for a second, remove the slider and remove this little part. Connect the one you want. So let's say you want this one. Reconnect uh, our uh, slider and then reconnect the door. You can uh, keep it open, close. We can move it a uh, little bit more to the inside this way, for example. And this one can rotate uh, and change the inclination as well. So you can aim uh, in every direction. So let's aim down this way let's rotate it i don't know this way maybe they are aiming you know below and you can add another one to the other side same for the other gun and then we have other external weapons again you have to remove this part so same system and then you have this little wing now i want it for the other side so let's rotate it here is already connected um the gathering end so if you want external uh, getting in, you can you can get it this way. So you can rotate it, perfect. And you have to connect it this one here. See, very very beautiful. Or we can use more weapons. So let's remove, for example, the getting in, and we may add I don't know standard missile. These go here. Done. This uh, this way. So we have missiles. Here we have the Hellfires, so again we can connect this one here and move it here. Uh, Hellfire uh, missiles. Then we have rocket launchers. These are different millimeter uh, sizes, so uh, this one should be 70 millimeters. These are 122 millimeters, if I remember correctly. They are different sizes. You can choose the one you prefer. You add this one, for example, here, and then we can check this one here, this way, see? Very, very beautiful. You can choose again the solution you like most. And that's it, the video as usual 
finish here. I hope you enjoyed the design. If yes, remember to leave a thumbs up. Uh, remember to let me know in the comments what you think about the creation and uh, if there is something I can improve, I, I can still improve my instructions even later. So I'm open to your suggestions and especially your suggestions about new projects to design. So let me know what you want to see next. I read all your comments, try to answer most of them, if not every single comment. And this way I can know what I can design next. So your suggestions are always appreciated. And with this, it's really all. See you again next week in a new video. Bye.